The advent of the digital technologies has brought about a total transformation of the communication chain. But in spite of this, there is still a significant communication gap between government entities and the public. The ICT minister, Frank Tumwebaze, says this is one of the areas for which he intends to find a remedy. We must not only talk about being an e-government, but we must be an e-government. Government officials must take the lead and break walls of old technologies. During the digital dialogue held in Kampala, ICT stakeholders and media owners spoke of their dissatisfaction with the way the government spokespersons operate. The government spokesperson of Fono Pondo promised a change in operations. The reluctance of government to share information in spite of uh, the enactment of the Access to Information Act and very often times information that is that has no adverse implications if it is shared. As media, when we seek information, we need to use it in a given time. Create a regular physical platform. Schedule them every week. Can this entity be available for a regular press discourse? Key on the agenda was the issue of digital migration, where media owners tasked the minister and Uganda Communications Commission boss God from Tarazi to sort out the persistent challenges in the digital signal. Quality of the signal distribution. I know that uh, Signet or UBC is the official carrier, but currently we have over four or five signal distributors. <clears throat> and right now, if you're on the free-to-air uh, cable, actually your channel keeps dropping if you're on TV. So one minute you're on 802, the other minute you're on 830. What, what, do, you, what do you say about Agi Konde's comment? Why are we not able to give all her issues? You know better. The complaint they are having is that there are not enough set of boxes in the market for people to view free to air channels. This country has been damaged by the death of UBC and Signet. They are pretending that they are running a TV channel and, and we are pretending that we are watching one. We are in the process of uh, having Signet as an independent body and it's work in progress. We didn't have to write a digital migration policy. We would have used the law and moved on. But it was a fake document, useless document, which said we must get only one signal distributor. And now that's the price we are paying, because we should have moved on if we had two or three. The minister also urged media owners and editors to ensure that they maintain objectivity, balancing and fairness in their publications. Tumwebaze said he had taken into account the recommendations made and would look into them. We can tell the Ugandan story better. Government communicators have had their share of how they need to organize. Some agencies of government may not even have communicators. That we will have to fix it. Walter Mwesije, NTV.